Aerosales culture is a whole 180 type of unique. When I came, I thought it was too good to be true. I'm like, yeah, this is a scam. A company like this can't exist. This is nothing that I've ever experienced. Like, rather than working under a corporate umbrella, I'm working in a family environment now. So back in the early days, uh, culture was not as prevalent as it is today. I think it was more about trying to get to the next day and, and trying to help AeroSeal uh, realize its potential. We had two full days dedicated to defining the culture of the company, who we wanted to be and how we can get there. And we had the values defined for the company. From there, we defined what a good employee was, what a good manager was, and what they were not, and then expanded on that. And it also gave us a good roadmap for what we needed to be as a leadership team. Culture defines everything we do at Aeroseal. Culture affects retention of employees. Um, it affects the ability to work with each other and communicate and, and successfully grow as quickly as we are. The main thing that makes Aeroseal's culture unique is it's all about setting the right goals, setting the right vision for where we're going, and empowering everybody to achieve those things in the way that they're best able to. It's definitely at the forefront. You work for companies and a lot of them will share a mission statement or a value statement and you never see it again. We have weekly recurring meetings where we're consistently reminded of that culture and those values. Act with urgency is really important in it, and specifically a growing company as quickly as we're growing now. So acting with urgency isn't acting with haste. It's not being frivolous, it's being aggressive. We have aggressive goals here. Um, so acting with urgency to get to those goals and to get to them for better efficiency and effectiveness moving forward. Act with urgency is getting stuff done as fast as possible, but doing it right. When something comes up and, you know, it could be a customer issue or an employee issue, and I think it's just something where it's, you have to get on it right now and, and we got to do the best that we can by that person, whether it be the employee or the customer. I think do what you say is, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do something, don't talk about it, just do it, right? I think there was something I asked early on with, with Amit, and I said, hey, is it better to ask for forgiveness than permission? He said, to an extent. So, but I think the point is, do it. If you think it's the right choice, do it, because it's gonna help move that needle forward, is like I said. You gotta follow through. Um, your, your credibility is, is built on your actions, not your words. Uh, pe because people are depending on you, you have no idea what that promise might be contingent to, right? Uh, I made a promise to you to get something done and I don't realize that, that you've made a promise to somebody else based on the promise that I made to you. So it, it's critical that we follow through on, on the things that we say we're gonna do. Committing to each other gives you sort of that, that sense of, you know, we're in this together. Let's work together to make this happen. You don't have to be heads down and it's just you and your work. It's doing things for others when maybe they don't necessarily even need to ask you for it, right? You go out of your way and you just commit to them that, hey, I'm gonna help you here because I see you need help and I'm able to help. We all within the company respect and work really well together. We all have to collaborate and I think you have to collaborate well together to be successful and that's, just on a professional level, but also personally. We know each other's families. That's why we do um, reflecting commits where we bring spouses and children in. So you're really embracing each other wholeheartedly in terms of commitment to each other. Doing more with less is all about treating the company's resources as if they were your own. It's easy to get wrapped up into a, you know, an organization that has plenty of funds coming through it and be wasteful. I don't want to waste my money, so I'm certainly not going to waste someone else's money. I think it's just kind of an ugly thing to see. And that's not saying to be stingy by any means. We definitely invest in our technology and things that will help improve us in the future. But it's really looking at what is that ROI on a, on a, a product or an idea or a process and how can that help us in the future in the long run. So growth mindset, you know, I think that's probably one of my favorite values here. The ability to not stay stagnant. You know, a lot of people get in this routine of, hey, it's this way and it's always been this way. The way Amit specifically has instilled a, a growth mindset in the business isn't just a talking point. Uh, you know, one of the coolest things that I found out about when I started here was the book program. 
You know, if there's a book that you want to read, the, the business will, will reimburse you for that book. And, and, and that's really just trying to push people's boundaries and, and get them to continue to grow. Be optimistic. I mean, be, be excited about our future. Um, be positive. There's hurdles that you have to overcome. There's challenges, especially in our company that's growing very quickly. But continuing to be optimistic about what's in the future for us, in the world, in our country, in our business, in our personal lives, is really important to keep that mindset. Being optimistic, I'm optimistic every day. Always trying to uplift my team. No matter how the outlook looks, we're gonna figure out how to have a positive ending. Culture is, is consistently evolving. We actually relate it somewhat to a garden, right? It has to be pruned, it has to be tweaked, it has to be reiterated, and that's how culture is, right? It has to stay at the forefront, otherwise you, you become most companies that give you a document on the first day and then you never see it again. So it's constantly tweaked over time. Um, there's a lot of work and effort that went into our culture deck and our culture to begin with, but times change and we evolve and so does our culture.